a scrappy one, a lot on the line. Well, who else should we be looking looking out for or what else should we be looking out for today? Well, a lot of positional changes as you, as you can actually see Jack Goulding go to midfield for Kerry for the throw-in. So a lot of, I suppose, a lot of change, a lot of adjustments going to be made for both teams as the game goes on. And straight away, it's awfully on the attack here. The ball is left down there. as so Down as far as Gat gets on the ball there. Looking for some support. Plays that one outside. Doesn't go to his man. And it's cleared away there by Patrick Kelly. It's gone to ground again. A couple of players fighting for this one. Early stage of this game. Both teams kind of just getting to know each other. Still no one in full possession of this one. The ball looks like it's going to be claimed there by Goulding. The referee saw something there he didn't like, though. And we're going to start again with a free. Yeah, nudge in the back there, I think, on midfielder. It was, uh, it was Shane, it was a column get for Offaly winning the free, or causing the free for uh, Kerry, free for Kerry. Shane Conway to take this one here. Shane had a great season with UCC earlier this year. There was a bit of doubt about him during the week about whether he'd start, but he's here today and they're expecting a big game from him. And it's Offaly now back in possession of the ball. Back there through Daniel Collins. Or track player to Owen Parallel, I should say, but that ball doesn't go to his intended target. A bit of a chop down there. Column lines the Cork referee deciding that's a foul and we're going to restart with a free. Yeah, two early whistles from, from Column, probably an indication of what, what we're going to expect today. If he's going to be given frees for for touching or pushes in the back, taps on the, on the hurley, uh, you're looking at a fairly stop start game. Still no score here, about a minute and a half gone in this one. And as we said, we're expecting an edgy, edgy game here. So much on the line for both teams. Owen Cahill now of Offaly coming out to take this one. Owen Cahill with a decent Fitzgibbon Cup and a decent spring himself. He was in goals for uh, Mary Eye this year. They made it all to the final where they were beaten by Shane Conway's UCC. He strikes this one up into the clouds. The crowd seemed to like that one and of course they do. That's gone over the bar for the first score of the game. Yeah. That's important from Owen Cahill. Shane Dooley had actually come back to field to take it uh, but confidence from Cahill to put that straight between the posts. Puck out coming here now from O'Halloran. Goes in between the 265. That's going to drop. It looked like it was going to be a handy catch for an Offaly man, but there was a push in the back, or a dunt into the back, and it's going to be another free. The man who was fouled there looked to be Shane Kinsla, and it's going to be a free, a free in to Offaly. Yeah, that's a tough one. That ball seemed to be up for grabs, but when it holds in the when it holds in the air, uh, Kinsla looks to be directly under it. O'Leary then comes straight through the back of him. Another free given away. A chance here for Shane Dooley, the Offaly captain today. In the absence of Pat Gammon, the cornerback who would have played last week against, or two or three weeks ago against Antrim, got injured. It's Dooley with the free. Dooley strikes that one, and that's another point. Offaly, two points to the good now, both coming from freeze. Good start from Offaly. They have the breeze at their back. Uh, as we look at it right to left, the Offaly will have the win for the first half. They probably need to make use of it. Shane Dooley, who hasn't actually scored from playing the Joe McDonough today, and they're expecting another big form from him. Now it's O'Leary. O'Leary will carry the big man. It's trying to get this one up, but he's gone to ground. The ball is still on the ground. Three or four players involved in that one. And it's a Kerry man who comes away with it. It looks to be James O'Connor, where he receives a huge shoulder. The referee says it was fair, though. And it's now Killian Kiley. Killian Kiley drives that one into the full forward position, into the awfully full forward line. The ball is dropping around there. No one fully in possession of it just yet, but it's picked up there. And it's a Kerry man who comes away with it. That Kerry man is Sean Weir. Does well and wins himself a free. Big shoulder came in there a few minutes ago, though. There's going to, everything is on the line here today. Yeah, great stuff. Great physicality from Kiley. You can actually see it here. Goes in, meets, meets the collision. Really, really powerful stuff from the centre back and really inspirational stuff. Then a direct ball into the full forward line, lifting the Offaly spirits. Brian Murphy wanted to take that one quickly, but column lines in the centre of the field there in the black jersey is a main man. He is the referee today and he wasn't happy with that one being taken quickly. So we're going all the way back and it's going to be Brian Murphy again with this one. Brian Murphy, you can really play anywhere in that back area for Kerry and he's going to take this one. He goes relatively short, tries to find a man, tries to be accurate with that pass, but it doesn't go to one of his own men, and it's Mark Egan. Mark Egan plays that one up the line. It's going to all the way back down to where it came from initially. It's in the air, but it's well taken there by James O'Connor. O'Connor tries to hand pass it ahead of himself, but again, and as Seamus said before this match started, there's a lot on the line. This is kind of scrappy, yet to get into play just yet. Quickly taken there by Mikey Boyle. Puts that one down, but it comes straight to the other number six, Killian Kiley. This man has a serious puck on him. He opens up his shoulders, takes this shot, and that is a fantastic score. Ah, superb stuff. Michael Boyle's got really disappointed himself there. Really no need to take that free quick. Need to, Kerry need to settle at this point now. Those kind of unforced errors will hurt them. Three points to nil. That's the first score from play there, coming from Killian Kiley, the awfully centre-back. And the ball has worked out back up the field again. Awfully back in possession again. They are through Owen Parlin. 
Owen Parnham trying to make way out through two or three players there. Eventually gets it away. He gives it down. He's looking down towards Fodder. He's looking down towards Kevin Connolly, I should say. Connolly again gets the ball. He's out by the side and Connolly weighs up his options, takes his shot and that one comes in. And that is another good score. Offaly are really flying here in this first few minutes. Terrific start from Offaly. Really, really good use of the ball from Parlin. Great ball down to side to Connolly. Connolly has been lively this whole Joe McDonough. Great, great aim, great accuracy and good leading from, from the Offaly man. Good start from Offaly, like that is a fair start. Five minutes gone, four points to no score. And that one comes down again. It looks to be coming down on top of Kylie and Michael O'Leary over there from Kerry. It's gone to ground again, struggling to get this one up. And it looks to be Kylie. Kylie pulls that away, makes sure they go no further forward. Nearly hits Brendan Cummins there, the Kerry selector in the leg, but he managed to avoid it. So we're going to restart with a sideline ball to Shane Conway. That's going to be a terrific contest all day. Kylie comes over under, under the dropping puck outs with Michael O'Leary. Uh, that's going to be an epic contest. Here comes Conway with the sideline. He puts that one dangerously in around the square. But it goes over both Keneally in the full back position and Peter or Patrick Boyle. And it goes out harmlessly wide for the first wide of today's game and the first one for Kerry. Yeah, interesting to see Keneally picking up Podrick Boyle there. Keneally, I would say, is Offaly's best cornerback and has been for the last number of years, picking up the danger man in Podrick Boyle. And there's a Kerry man down here, a Kerry man just off camera down, and the ref is going to come over and talk to his sideline official. He's going to come over and has his hands up to his pocket, but we're just going to have a little chat first, he said, and we'll decide that man down there is Daniel Collins. Didn't quite see what happened there. Seamus, did you have eyes on the ball or would you follow in that? I was looking at Keneally, <laughs> Keneally and Bodrick Boyle under Farron, but again, stakes are high in this game. There's going to be an edge here. Offaly are up for this game. Offaly are, have gotten off to a great start and you can see the energy all over the field. Probably hard to see from your monitors, but the breeze is with Offaly, so that four-point lead, they'd probably need that at least going into the halftime. Um, but four points up for Offaly and they will be happy with their start and hopefully Collins. Oh, and there's a red card straight away after only six minutes of this game. Peter Garrity receives a straight red card and that really puts Offaly on the back foot. That killer blow, killer blow for Offaly. Not having seen what happened, can't comment on it, but that's the kind of that's the kind of nervous energy that comes with this kind of a game. You know, the, you have to be disciplined and controlled at it. And now the good start that Offaly has had, it's very similar to what happened against Antrim. Uh, well, actually, it was the opposite against Antrim. Antrim the men sent off, but it's this puts them in a bind, puts Offaly in a serious bind. And Peter Garrett, he's full of experience. He would have added a lot to this. Played very well the last day out, but he's in the, going to be sitting in the dugout for the next 55 odd minutes. So 50, 65 odd minutes, I even should say. So an exciting start here so far. Own Cal pucks this one out for Offaly. He goes along, down into their full forward positions, clipped on there, still not in anyone's possession. But it's a Kerry man who comes away with it. That one was Collins, the man who was on the ground a few minutes ago. He gives that one out, and they work their way up the line here again. Still Kerry in possession of the ball. Working that into the corner forward position, but it's well read there by the Offaly man. And he clears that back down inside. Well controlled there. Still Offaly in possession of this one. Going one way, then the other. Sending that one in there. Sending that one in there was Dooley, the captain. Sends that one in high, looking for Rushing Kelly. But it goes to the right and wide for Offaly's first wide of the game. Yeah, good good ball out for Ben Keneally again. Great leadership. I see him been one, genuinely been one of the best defenders in Leinster, uh, regardless of, of grade. Great ball, great vision to find Dooley. Dooley needs to do more with that ball. Pucked out there by O'Halloran. He goes long. He finds his own man. That is brilliantly taken out there. Brilliantly taken there by Kelly. Kelly lets that one down inside. He was looking for Boyle. Boyle doesn't get to it. And it's Keneally, who we've just been talking about. Plays a fantastic pass inside there as far as Keneally or Connolly. Connolly already has a point. He goes forward. They decided it had to take him down, but they actually referee decides. Colin Knight says that wasn't a free. The crowd don't like that one, but we play on. The ball goes down inside, and it's won by Keneally. Keneally there is a judge to have clipped the ankles the ankles there of Boyle, and it's going to be a free in and a fairly scorable one. Yeah, we're going to have tight margins here all game long. Kevin Connolly there took the ball on, really aggressive with the ball, and he was borderline between steps and being fouled. Referee had judged the ball to be spilled. Then it goes down the far end, and just a bare clip of the heel. I thought Keneally played it very well, but Boyle, uh, Boyle went to ground. Uh, really fine margins. Uh, good, good for Kerry to try and get on the board. Absolutely, coming up on nine minutes gone here and they're still yet to score, but Shane Conway, the man who won so much with UCC, as we said, he also won minor B All-Irelands last year. He's won it all, really, with Kerry at this stage. He is the great white hope of Kerry Hurling. He's standing over this one, about 22 yards out. Should be fairly scorable for him, and it is no bother. That's straight over the bar for his and Kerry's first point of the day. Important to remember the breeze that Kerry are facing into. Every score they get in this first half will be important. Cahill now with the puck out. Again, he's gone over the halfway line with this one. 
is plucked out there. It's gone to ground. A couple of players try to fight for it. Still on the ground. Eight or nine lads in around that one. And is it going to come up there for Dermot Gadd? It doesn't. Have initially, now it's back to Sean Weir. Sean Weir, who was named on the Joe McDonough Team of the Year last year, gives a silky little pass outside, and Kerry start to build. They're flying up the line here to Tommaso O'Connor. Tommaso O'Connor lets that one down inside to the full forward line. It bounces. Oh, a bit of danger there. The referee said there might have been a pull or something there. It's going to be a free out anyway. Free out to Offaly. Yeah, it, it, it does look like Colum Lines is going to blow his whistle as often as he wants. It's, it's going to... It's, it's going to make for a very stop-start game. Four points to one in favour of the men from Offaly. They need this win. Both sides need this win. A draw, actually, I say that. A draw would actually do carry you enough to keep them in the Joe McDonough again next year. Offaly need the win, and they have the breeze. And that one is left down long inside. It's bouncing around there, and it's won. Eventually won by an Offaly man. It comes through. The shot is on here. Is there a goal chance on? Oh, is it a penalty? The referee keeps, puts his hands out. He does the sign, and we're going to have a penalty. Super work there from Shane Dooley. Shane Dooley got under that dropping ball, put himself physically in there, won the break, passed the ball into Connolly. Connolly takes the contact and goes to ground. Here we have Dooley winning the ball, working it through. Great touch by Connolly, and then the step inside. That's a very hard step to, to defend. He was in on goal. It's hard to know if the defender had another option. So this is another chance for Offaly to extend their lead. One point to four in favour of the men from Leinster. Column lines, yeah, he's really sitting down his authority on this one early, not letting the players away with anything. And I suppose if you're going to do it, do it early. So here we go. Here we go with Shane Dooley, the Offaly captain. He's already got one today from a free. Steeped in pedigree, the Dooley family, of course, Offaly hurling wise. We might talk about that in a few more minutes' time, but here we go. Shane Dooley lifts, he bends, he strikes, he goes low, and it's saved. A great save there. That is a fantastic save there by O'Halloran in the Kerry goal, and that might give Kerry the lift they need to come into life into this game. Great save there. Dooley seemed to do everything right, went low, but it was well saved by O'Halloran in the Kerry goal. And we're back into the middle of the field there, well pulled on there by Peter Kelly, and it's up back as far as Keneally. Or Kylie, I should say, the Offaly centre back. He goes long, long, looking for Oshin Kelly in around the box. Oshin, Oshin Kelly goes up with his hand, bounces out of it, and Kerry come away with the ball there, come away with a true Weir. Weir plays a lovely hand pass out, or stick pass outside, and Kerry start to build from the back. The momentum from that penalty save must be surging through them at the moment. Column lines his hand up, it's going to be a free out. Seamus, talk us through that penalty save. What did you think of that? Yeah, John B. O'Halloran, he did exceptionally well to wait on it. Let, let Dooley take his time to pick his spot. And you can actually see when he went low to the left, Dooley, smart way, I think, to take a penalty is take it low, bounce it off the ground, but O'Halloran did very, very well. Dooley was looking to get closer to the corner and he did. Conway now with this free, 67 or so yards out from the goal. He's got one today already from a free. The only score Kerry have got today, 1.4, as you can see in the top left-hand corner, about 12 and a half minutes or so gone in this crucial Joe McDonough game. Shot comes in, they all have a good long look. It's going to drop short, it drops short into the hands of Owen Cahill in the Offaly goal, and he feeds it out, and they work it up along as far as Shane Kinsella. Shane Kinsella doesn't control it as well as he'd like, that. it touches a bit heavy, and it's Kerry back in possession of the ball, working it out into a bit of space there, working it out as far as Boyle. Boyle looks at the post, he shoots, but it's to the right and wide, and that's Kerry's second wide of the game. Boyle was a great game the last day. His target was really in the last day. They'll be hoping to get it back in again today. Yeah, Boyle, we actually saw it the last day last week. He can hit he can hit the shot off the back foot, off the front foot. He's really, really super striker of the ball. Uh, that one, unfortunately, drifted to the right. Puck, and out, puck out coming from Cahill again. He's gone over the 265. A decent puck on him. He has the breeze at his back, and he's using it well. The ball has gone to ground there, gone to ground through Jack Goulding. Jack Goulding, who played it half forward the last day, has 15 on his back today, but he's playing further out the field than the number 15 may suggest. The ball juggles around there a little bit, and has gone out of play. It's going to be a sideline to Kerry. Looks to be going to be taken by Jack Goulding. Yeah, you can see Jack Goulding is out around the middle of the field. Kerry are only staying with two inside, so you're looking at... Conway is inside um, and he's leaving or is it Goggins I think is inside with him so that two men full forward line will be interesting to see what they do in the second half when they have the breeze at the back here comes Goulding gets under that one nicely but it's well read well read back there by Houlihan for Offaly and he comes down over the far side of the field again Kelly is the target but it doesn't go to Kelly Kerry read that well the two man more or less all over Kelly there making sure he didn't do any damage and they managed to turn this one over and work it through O'Leary gives a hand pass on well controlled there and Kerry starts to build again it's over there the shot 
Is it a shot or a pass? Oh, a touchdown there. Oh, well read there by Owen Cahill in the Offaly goal. The touch came in there late from Keneally, which could have sent the ball into the back of the net, but he read it well, and the danger is averted. But now it's back with Shane Conway. Shane Conway goes for that hop off the ground, as we saw him do four or five times last week. The foul comes in, though, and it's a free. The Kerry management aren't happy with what happened there. There's going to be a free in from about 45 yards out and should be fairly scorable for Conway. Yeah, Conway really has a gift for controlling the ball. He, you know, we here we see Cahill take the ball after that touch from the from the half back line before it got to him. That's a tricky ball for a keeper to read. Then Conway takes the ball. He's got look at this now. Batting the ball on the ground, he's got a gift for controlling the ball. And then as he goes to the ground, clumsy challenge in there from Pete Sean Cleary. Um, he's going to be a danger all day long, Conway. It looked like Owen Parlin may have been studying the tape. He might have seen what Conway did last because he almost seemed to hook what he was trying to do there. Now we have Conway again standing over this one. He has won his name, as we've said already. Kerry's only score in the game. Straight in front of the goals. I'd expect Conway to put this one over. He does. About, two or, about 10 or eight, 10 feet over the crossbar. Second score of the game. Second from a free for Conway. Yeah, Kerry have settled. Uh, since that sending off for Offaly, they, really, they haven't registered a score. And the, the, the dynamic of the game has changed significantly. If you're just joining us here on GNL, this one is live. Peter Gellerty, as Seamus has just said, received a red card there about six or seven minutes ago, and Offaly are down to 14 for the remainder of this game. This hugely important game for both sides, especially for Offaly. They need the win, and that's a free. Column lines aside, another free coming in there. A fairly, maybe the angle isn't as good as the last one, but 45 yards out. Conway should have the distance, maybe not the accuracy. We'll see in a minute. Yeah, there was very little in that. I, 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 I think Owen Parlin has has the right to be aggrieved there. Uh, that ball hanging up in the air, try to contest it. I think Patrick Boyle fell over more than anything, but again, it gives an excellent striker the ball, Conway, uh, the chance to extend or to cut into that awfully lead. And without Kerry ever playing that well, if he scores this, they're only a point behind after 15 or 16 minutes. Here he goes here now, just on the 45, puts that one up and that's between the sticks and that's his third score of the day. Offaly are finding it very hard to actually work the ball through the lines and get it, get it, get it past that spare man. That's going to be a challenge, uh, feeding Oshin Kelly and Shane Dooley with that, that extra man in the back line. Cahill goes long again over to that far side of the field. That seems to be the target of all the puck outs over down there, trying to get one of his men onto the ball. None of them managed to get it, and it's going to be a sideline ball. What do Kerry need to do? They seem to be maybe chipping away into it at the moment. I suppose the first 10 minutes were all awfully. The last maybe five or so have been all Kerry. Yeah, I know. They, Kerry need, need to lose. They need to use the ball anyway against that breeze, but they can put the ball through the hand better. And here they are again. The ball seemed to come off to come off Boyle's helmet, but it's Conway now has possession of the ball. He's in a bit of space, going back the way to try and make a bit of room for himself. Give that one a lovely ball across. The shot, oh, well blocked there. Fantastic block there from the Offaly man. And they start to come away again. That's Kylie who made that block, and he tries to charge out. A couple of players on his back, but he managed to make a bit of progress there. It goes back there as far as Cullum Gat. Gat gives a low one, nice low trajectory on that one, but it's over his man's head, unfortunately, from his point of view. And it's James O'Connor who's back there. James O'Connor tries to steady himself, gives a hand pass there across, and Kerry come away through Barry Murphy. Murphy gives that one across, and they start to build out of their own defence here. Slow, patient play from them. Collins now in possession of the ball. Collins again, a nice little short pass there as far as Buckley. Buckley goes again. And here we come, here we go, it's number 13, it's Podrick Boyle. Podrick Boyle, who scored 1-5 the last, it takes his shot. And it's gone to the left and wide. Yeah, that was the width of the slitter, hitting off the left from the right-hand side of the field, curling the whole way, and just the width of the slitter the far side. Um, good patient play from Kerry, that is exactly what they need to do. They need to build the ball up, use that numerical advantage, and find you. You, John Buckley found Boyle. Good shot, but good pressure then from Owen Parlin at the same time. Only a point in this one, and of course, if you're at home watching GA now and you're interested in watching Leash vs Westmead, that is also live on this platform. This one is still well in the melting pot, though, so stay with us here for as long as you can. Kerry against Leash, three points to four. Big game here, awfully need to win. Kerry need a win or a draw, but they'll want to win. They'll want to finish their season on a win. Ball around the 45 there. Well picked up by Shane Conway. Shane Conway, great vision, puts that one across. Low ball comes in. It looked like a pass. It was a bit too short to be a shot, but it goes harmlessly in to Owen Cahill in the Offaly goal. And he sprays that one out over the head there of Patrick Kelly. And it's back. Kerry still in possession. In fairness, Kerry have owned the ball the last five or six minutes. They're still a point down, and they still have yet to score from actual play, but they have had a lot of possession. And the ball is over there now, still Offaly coming away with it. Coming away with it through Parlin. Parlin had a couple of men in front of him, managed to get that one clear. 
and it's Offaly who still have it, working it over and back now as far as Kylie again. Kylie who's been uh, involved in an awful lot of stuff Offaly have done today, and he's dropped that one in around the house, pulled on in the air, but it's a Kerry man who comes away with it again. They're trying to find Oshin Kelly every time with big bombs coming in on top of him. He hasn't got one yet, but he probably only needs one. Well cut out there, brilliantly cut out there from Shane Kinsella of Offaly. He's up to the 45, loses control of it though, and pulls that one down inside, but it's still Offaly who are in possession here fighting for every ball here in this very important game. Connolly, Connolly gives that one back outside. Still awfully in possession of the ball. The shot comes in, the shot comes in from Cleary. Cleary looks over the post, the umpires look over the post and that's gone over the crossbar. Yeah, that's a great, great score for Offaly. Really, really excellent work from Kevin Connolly. Great work from Kinsella in the first instance to get, get uh, to intercept the ball in the middle of the field. Sean Cleary with the finishing touch. He did excellently well when he came on against Antrim last day, making his mark now from, from his starting position. And that's James Conway there, the Kerry corner back who's gone down. Excursion to what went on before that seems to have taken it out of him. He may have got a bit of a tip as well. We'll have to see if we caught that, but he's getting a bit of attention there. But this game is maybe starting to kick into a bit of a life. We're starting to see a couple of more scores. But, but even awfully, they're, they're actually, they're, they're trying different ways to try and get the ball into Oshin Kelly and Shane Dooley inside. Killian Kiley had a, put a direct long ball into the edge of the square. And you know what? Test that Kerry full back line. They conceded five goals against Leash last week. And I think the likes of Oshin Kelly needs to be fed any type of ball, get it in there, give him a chance to do the damage. Uh, but, you know, good score from Cleary to get him. You know, that's their first score in the last nearly 10 minutes of the game, nearly 13 minutes of the game. So it's, uh, it's a good start. And Kelly only needs to get one ball, really. Bang, back of the net. Kerry need to be right every single time. He only needs to be right once. And that's something he did to great effect the last day out against Antrim when he got 2-2. Game still stopped here. Lions having a chat there with Shane Dooley. Yellow card there showing to Shane Dooley, the Offaly captain. He's got one free today for Offaly. Doesn't seem to be overly happy with what happened there. He's going to have to be on his guard maybe for... The, list, the rest of this game. Yeah, discipline, discipline will have to be will have to be paramount now for Offaly. Um, the, the pressure and the frustrations will build as this game goes on, so it's important to keep all that in check. Oh, Halloran goes short, finds his corner back well. Good pass out there as far as Weir. Weir goes past his man. This looks like something they've worked on in the training ground. It's up as far as Boyle. Boyle gives it back. Unfortunately, the ball goes to ground from a Kerry point of view. And Offaly work this one back. They work it back down, straight back down into the corner where it came from. It's gone down and well picked up there. Well picked up by Dooley, the man who just got the yellow card. Gets himself into a bit of space. Has a shot at that one. Can he see from there? Oh, did that come off the post? It's gone wide. Either way, it's gone to the right and wide. Yeah, that's, Dooley did extremely well there. One-on-one -on -one with James O'Connor in the corner there. Using his strength and to off, the, off the left over the shoulder. That was very, very close to going over the bar. Only Offaly's second wide of the game. Kerry have three so far. Again, the short poke out. This one goes straight to Mikey Boyle. Boyle goes long, looking for someone inside in that full forward line. And it's brilliantly taken. Brilliantly taken by Conway. Conway in possession of the ball. Feeds it outside. Well picked up. And Kerry are on the attack here. The shot comes in. And that is a great score. Straight over the bar. And something Kerry needed. They needed to get that score. Yeah, Jordan Conway did exceptionally well to win that ball. But Michael Boyle, direct low trajectory. In, his, in really direct into the full forward line, Jack Goulding, brilliant run off the side and then off the right over the bar. Jack Goulding seems to be very versatile. He seems to get up and down that pitch and he seems to be getting into good positions and Kerry get off the mark from a play point of view. They've got three already before that. They all come from freeze, but Goulding gets them off the mark from play. Over there now, we see Kylie in possession of the ball for Offaly. Kylie, the centre back, he's got a monster puck on him. He pucks that one all the way down, looking for Oshin Kelly who come out slightly. It's still an awfully man who has it. That awfully man is Gat. Gat puts that one across. Still awfully in position, but they've lost it now. It's turned over there by Murphy. Murphy, the Kerry full back, puts there. There's a bit of space in front of the Kerry full forward line. And it's a Kerry man who has possession. He turns. It's their full forward. It's Conway. Conway on his left hand side, but brilliantly blocked down there by Mark Egan. The awfully corner back, and it's back to Egan again. Good block from him and stopped. A potential point scoring shot there. Offaly back in possession of the ball. Patient build up, patient play in there by Gat. Offaly trying to find it, trying to get it in as far as Kelly. Kelly here with the white boots went full length to try and get a hurley on that. Doesn't manage to make a connection and Kerry hold on to it. Steps says Column Lines is going to be a free, a handy free now because Offaly were on the back foot there. Going to be Shane Dooley now from the 45. Yeah, I think it was actually a great call by Column Lines. I think James O'Connor, he had the option to pass that ball before running into two Offaly men. And when you don't pass the ball before going into contact, you're at, you're at risk of doing that. Oshin Kelly here seen fighting for the ball. That's really the first involvement we've seen of him directly with the play. Offaly will want to get him into, in, into the game more. 
and we look to be seeing a substitute here, not something or something we were definitely expecting. Maybe a bit of surprise the team was announced during the week. Dermot Gap makes way for Joe Bergen, the awfully veteran coming on here. If you ever wanted a sub to be able to bring on, maybe with 24 minutes gone when you're a man down, this is the man, Joe Bergen. We're expecting big things from him. Here comes Dooley now, another man with a very famous awfully hurling name. Comes in that shot, drops short. Though. He won't be happy about that. Straight into the hands of Brian O'Halloran, or John B. O'Halloran, I should say. But his puck out isn't a good one, and it goes straight over there as far as Cleary. He's Cleary with the shot coming in for Offaly. Off the post, the danger is still here. It's pulled. Oh, what a shot right across the face of the goal. There was real danger. The shot came off the post. It was pulled, but went all the way across the goals and wide. Oh, Shane Dooley has been on the end of that dozens of times throughout his career and that has rattled the net that was so close to go across the goal and not go in very very fortunate from Kerry's point of view uh, and very very unfortunate from Offaly they seem to do exactly the right thing pulling it as it was there but just drifted to the left and wide and we still have Kerry four points Offaly five points 25 minutes gone here in this crucial Joe McDonough round five game pucked out there brilliantly taken there by O'Leary pulls that one out of the sky and hand passes it off and Kerry come again through Patrick Kelly Kelly in front of the goals with the shot and puts that one and that is probably Kerry's best score today yeah I was about to say that Kerry really, really haven't grown into the game but that's the first puck out that Michael O'Leary has been able to grab out of the air direct, direct possession and great movement off the ball by Patrick Kelly and great finish O'Leary well, drew two men there gave himself the space to lay it off to Kelly and a good score from the former Clare Hurler ball puck down there now around the half forward half back line whichever way you want to look at it and it's an awfully man it's Dooley again Dooley who has it on a very tough angle on his left hand side that looks to be drifting is it going out of play Oshin Kelly tried to keep that one in but it's gone over his head for Offaly's third wide of the day yeah, Dooley's getting on a lot of ball he's doing a lot of the right stuff his energy is superb it's just a finish the finish hasn't been there today and even with that poor free Shane will be expecting more John B. O'Halloran with the puck out he's gone down he's gone down it's brilliantly taken out well plucked out of the air by Boyle Boyle shovels that one forward to Goulding. Goulding's shot in was blocked, well blocked. A nice little hook on that one, a nice little block on it, I should say. And it's going to be a sideline ball. The block came in there from Colum Gatt, who's done well. And it's going to be Goulding now to take this sideline. Goulding now, who seems to be on the sidelines. This is his second or third one we've seen today. Finton O'Connor there, his manager walking up and down. Finton, who was involved with the Waterford team back in 2015 when they won the league final. He was a selector with them then. They also have Brendan Cummins, as we mentioned before, and their backroom team. So this Kerry team is stacked with knowledge. Here comes Goulding now. It looks to be winding up for this one. Let's that one inside. It's well caught. It's dropped. Still Kerry in possession of the ball. Trying to go forward. Oh, that one nearly went into the hands of O'Leary. But Lyons again says there was a foul. It's going to be a free from about 21 yards out and a fairly scorable one. Yeah, Michael O'Leary did very well to get his body in place there. Ball comes in from Goulding. And look, out in front of his man, gets the breakdown. And Goggin takes the challenge. And the referee said advantage wasn't, wasn't accruing. Three points so far from Shane Conway. All coming from freeze. You'd expect this one to be four for the Kerry captain. Michael O'Leary provides such a dangerous presence inside there. So you're talking about this is the this is against the breeze. If we're talking about with the breeze in the second half, he's going to be even more dangerous presence closer to that goal. And here comes Conway now. He bends, he lifts, he strikes, and as you'd expect, that one goes over the crossbar for his fourth point of the day, all coming from freeze. Conway, of course, won the county final with Kerry last year so he's got loads of confidence UCC he won that we'll say last September October one with UCC won the Sigerson or the Fitzgibbon I should say there in February March and now he's hoping to do well with Kerry here again today and that one is pucked out and it's a Kerry man in possession of the ball the old brick flick forward as they call it down Waterford way knocked on again and Kerry still in possession of the ball here working up through Collins Collins puts that one inside out in front well there out showing well is Conway Conway goes to ground up of his own fruition still Conway at the ball trying to make roads here ball isn't really going anywhere and the referee much so I'd say Kerry's advantage there because I don't know how far, further Conway was going to make it with that ball it's going to be another free in from about 25 yards out yeah hard to know hard to know where the where the, the foul was done there I thought it was excellent defending by Houlihan Jordan, uh, Jordan Conway got a really really well in first just that slip good pressure here I don't know where the I don't know where the foul is yeah okay the hurley come across there that's what Cullum Lyons put his hand up for advantage yeah Kerry living off a freeze at the moment absolutely tipping away at the freeze this is maybe going to be the fifth one here for Shane Conway and he goes for it again again you'd expect him to get this one over and he does the fifth free fifth free of the day and Kerry two points clear without again as we said they've got two decent points from play in fairness both their points from play were decent but they're really haven't got fired for this game just yet Jordan Conway has looked sharp inside, or inside there now he's been he's been out in front for most of the balls that have gone into him and he's given them really something to aim at inside and that one goes long 
that one goes long down there again probably looking for the likes of Kelly's on the other side of the field maybe they should be aiming for him but they have their own strategy and it's over there to Joe Bergen Joe Bergen who's only come onto the field in the last few minutes Offaly of course down a man Peter Gerrity was sent Gerrity was sent off after about five or six minutes so they are up against that struggle for the rest of the game the ball has gone out over there so they will have to come up with some kind of a strategy to try and work it to try and work being the man down but as we've often seen in the past it's maybe just as hard to play when you have the extra man as well now with Shane Dooley over there Shane Dooley he's come out a bit to take this sideline he might be better off down inside in the goals but he's going to try and let this one in now Shane Dooley looking around for some support Washington Kelly's inside there making runs and that one is where this one is headed for but it doesn't go in towards him and it's O'Connor now on the ball gives a nice little pass as far as Gould who's all the way back his own half back line drives that one forward looking up there looking up as far as the Kerry man up there was Dan Goggin Dan Goggin didn't get onto that one it's gone out of play and we're going to restart with a sideline ball to Kerry yeah good platform for Kerry there badly used they need to work the ball up a bit further the direct ball from the, their, own, their own half of the field isn't making it against the breeze up the field Egan with a fine sideline, he got well underneath that one. He's looking towards Dooley again over there. Dooley on the far sideline. Dooley goes left and right and plays this one back. He was looking for, he was definitely looking for Mark Egan there, but went well over his head. And now it's Kerry in possession of the ball through Goulding. Goulding coming charging forward up the line. Still Goulding on his left hand side. Has this one got the accuracy? It doesn't. It's gone to the right and wide for Kerry's fourth of the day. Yeah, this continues the trend. It's a scrappy game. Goulding did exceptionally well in so many things there. Winning possession, bounces the ball, Ella Conway, just to finish. So much on the line, you can imagine both sets of players are very nervous. Huge game for both of them. Going down to the Christie Ring Cup will be a huge blow for both hurling people in both Offaly and Kerry. And here comes Conway again, and he does the Conway bounce in plenty of space. Conway with the shot, is that going to bend in around the post? It doesn't. Oh, the curl on that one was majestic, but almost too majestic. That was entirely the breeze that took that to the left. That was a super strike by Conway. Really, really good work from him. Re look at this again. That, that skill, that, it, don't take that for granted. That's a difficult skill at high pace in inter-county hurling. Really, really good. It was just a win that carried it to the left. And it got him into the space he needed. It wasn't just purely for show. It got him the room he needed to take that shot. Ball belted down there again, but it's won by Mikey Boyle. Mikey Boyle, the powerful man, coming outside to give a lovely little kick pass. Boyle actually played underage football with Kerry, so he has that pedigree in him too. The ball is left down long inside as far as his butter, Podrick Boyle. Podrick Boyle is fighting for this one. He eventually gets it up into his hand. Brilliant pickup with a man on his back and with one hand on the hurley. Done very well there. Cullum Nines decided he wasn't being fouled and it's left down there. Ushin Kelly of Kerry was the target there, but it's Mikey Boyle again. Mikey Boyle goes with a nice little short pass up the line up as far as Collins Collins goes across the field Kerry have been patient and brilliant in their build up at times brilliant turn there by Sean Weir Weir well up into the other half of the field comes in the shot comes in but it's to the right and wide that would have been a lovely score to have got from a Kerry point of view yeah Michael Boyle did exceptionally well attacking the ball there and their use of the ball has gotten better it's just there's the, the end product is letting Kerry down look at this now for Sean Weir takes the ball under pressure and watch the spin lovely spin great stuff by cornerback ball comes down there again trying to put that down on top of Oshie and Kelly was Joe Bergen who's trying to get in there involved in that as well ball breaks out it's pulled away there pulled out as far as Michael O'Leary O'Leary who's been quiet compared to the last day he's on the ball here now again he's a man who takes a lot of watching hand passes that one forward it doesn't go to a Kerry man and it's pulled back to where it came from the shot comes in from a long way out but it looks to be drifting to the right the umpires wave again and that's to the wide for Offaly's fifth wide of the day yeah no, I know just for at risk of repeating it's just we've seen a higher standard of hurling throughout the Joe McDonough Cup this year this game has been fraught with handling errors ball going to ground you know rush striking that's Shane Dooley you know he's, that's his third or fourth wide today um, it's, 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 it's something that they need to improve on I know that the, the stakes are high but uh, you know, both teams making unforced errors and being punished for it Absolutely, and if you're just joining us, welcome along to GA now for this massive, massive game for both Offaly and Kerry, this Joe McDonough fifth round game. Offaly are fighting into, they, not only do they, are they fight, well they have the breeze, but they're fighting an uphill battle here after getting their number 12, Peter Garrity, sent off after about six minutes here, a straight red for an off the ball incident. But it's just going to make things that bit harder for a team who played nine times this year and have only won one game, that was against Carlo. Now Kerry are on the ball again. They're starting to work this one through. Cornerback rides a heavy tackle there. Cullum Lines decided the tackle was too heavy. The tackle coming in there on James O'Connor, and it's going to be a free out. It's a massive free going against Offaly now in this stage. The significantly more free has been given against them. 
discipline in the tackle has to be has to be improved. Here we have Sean Cleary been spoken to by Cullum Lines. Yellow card for Cleary, you know, you know most likely for, for, for talking to the referee. You know, this frustration, if it, if Offaly allowed it to build, it'll put him in the hole. Uh, they need to find a way to get the ball and get scores up on the board in this first half with the wind. Free taken there, going down along, looking for the edge of the D, maybe looking for Kelly who's in behind it, breaks down to the ground on it's a Kerry man who's in possession of the ball. The shot up, oh, well blocked there, brilliant block there. I think that was O'Leary who had the shot initially blocked and it's gone to ground there again. And it's Ocean Kelly who's all the way back in the centre back position. Here comes Kelly with the white boots, gives that low ball down the side, looking for Dooley, looking for a couple other players in there. He was looking also looking for Con Connolly, doesn't manage to get him done. It's a Kerry man who comes away with the ball again. Oshin Kelly, oh, he nearly got involved with that one. Now it's Michael O'Leary, the other big man on the field. Gives the little flick forward and Kerry starts to build. They have been very patient around the 265. The shot comes in there from the full back. Murphy, is it going to drop a bit short? There's still danger here. Well taken, in fairness, by Cahill. He watched that the whole way in. Gives the ball out to Kylie. And now Kylie has a bit of time to find the man. But he's blocked. He had less time than he thought he had. He's blocked. Managed to hold on to possession miraculously though. And Kerry are awfully come away with the ball there through Kinsella. Kinsella gives that off and it's lashed down inside. Down inside to the full forward line. Pulled there in the air by Dooley. Dooley has two men in front of him. He's trying to drive forward. He's impeded and it's going to be a free in. Well worked move. Brilliant take there by Dooley. Yeah, super work by Bergen. Kinsella. Dooley showing his strength. Watch this ball in from Joe Bergen. Really direct. They've been testing this Kerry full back line all day with this kind of long direct ball. Dooley using his strength and absolutely been held and fouled. But, you know, excellent presence down there. And he really has been on the ball all day. It's just the end. The end product has been letting Shane down. Dooley now has the chance to take his own free 21 yards out. Should be an easy one for him. And it is. That's his second of the day. Both coming from freeze. He's yet to score from play in the Joe McDonough. We have 35 minutes ahead of us, so hopefully he can wrong that, or write that wrong, I should say. Seven points to six here, coming up a minute or so left in the first half of this game. Oh, Halloran with the puck out again. He's dropping that around. He's trying to find Boyle maybe on the end of that. It's brilliantly won by Kelly, though. Kelly gets up for that one, wins it well. Decides to turn around. Kerry hold on to possession well here. Conway gives that one over his shoulder. In looking for his namesake, but it's Boyle on the ball now. Podrick Boyle, Podrick, that was the shot. It's a goal! A goal for Kerry. A one that badly needed. Exceptional, exceptional vision from Shane Conway there. Saw Patrick Boyle get behind his man, turned, and that floated ball just measured perfectly. Won extremely well by Patrick, and look at this beautiful finish, low to the corner. Exceptional play from Kerry, that is really high quality stuff. Patrick Boyle got 1-5 the last, he's ever getting one goal here today, and that one is going to be crucial. Great time to get it just before half time, and really is a sucker blow for Offaly to receive this close to half time. Pucked out there, Offaly will need a quick response. It's left down there long, but it's a Kerry man who's in possession the ball. That man is Collins. Collins comes out, looks like his hand was pulled. The referee says no play on. The ball has gone to ground again. Three or four players involved trying to get the ball up. O'Leary is back there, but it's Conway. Shane Conway coming away with this one. He must be full, absolutely full of enthusiasm after that great pass and goal. He got a minute ago. Tries to make a bit of space for himself. Loses it. Comes to O'Leary again. O'Leary, the referee, from strange time to blow it up. The referee decides we'll see it up in this first half. And we're going to have to take a break now in 10 or 15 minutes or so. They'll be back out in 15 minutes. But Seamus, how do you see that first game, first 37 minutes or so going? Where would you see it going up and down and wrong or right? Or who was the better team? Uh, listen, it's, it completely turned on the sending off. Offaly were entirely in the ascendancies, ascendancy in the early stages of the game in the first five, six minutes. Four points to, to nothing. Peter Garrity gets a needless red card. The incident, we couldn't see it, obviously, was off the ball. But Offaly reduced to 14 men and the game has changed completely. Oh, Kerry haven't needed to be exceptional. They have just, we'll say, they've made, uh, made a lot of hay out of freeze. Shane Conway has been striking the ball really, really well, but that sucker blow before halftime, just when Offaly thought they might have had a one-point margin at halftime, Conway feeds Podrick Boyle, and Podrick Boyle rattles the net. That puts Offaly in a frightful hole, a really difficult hole, staring at Christy, uh, or sorry, uh, Christy Ring next year. Oh, really high stakes in the second half. And the halftime score here in Austin Pack, Austin Stack Park in Tralee. Kerry won seven, Offaly six points. We all need somewhere. Now lads, let me go. We who live for the day that might never come. We who go back again and again to where we come from. We who won't stop. 
until we're unstoppable. We will never say no to getting stuck in. We who pass on every tradition and skill that was passed on to us. We who love the days that come forever. Him, her, them, us. We all need somewhere that belongs to us all. GAA, where we all belong. They want to do it, it's just that the... Shesha La Morna Havana, on Ireland hurling final day, the big day for hurling followers. A truly great day for the captain, Jimmy Doyle of Tipperary. You're welcome back here to Austin Stack Park in Tralee. Kerry won seven, Offaly six points. Really, I suppose the main talking point of the game, and we might get to it in a few minutes, was the Garrity red card there for Offaly after six or seven minutes, and the goal there for Boyle is what puts Kerry, I suppose, gives Kerry this um, advantage. This is probably the biggest game with the most consequence happening around the country today. There's a couple of other ones happening this evening. We'll look at Leinster first, Seamus. Wexford against Kilkenny, big game on this evening. Yeah, I think Wexford have Kilkenny right where they want them down in Wexford Park. The, the Leinster table looks very, very tight. Galway sitting on top at five, but both Kilkenny and Wexford sitting on four. There is a lot to be played for. There's a there's a, a Leinster final to be played for. All four teams, Dublin, Galway, Kilkenny, Wexford, all four teams have a chance to get to the Leinster final and all four teams have a chance to get through to the All-Ireland series. So, you know, Wexford have been playing quite well. They've, I thought they put up a great show against Galway uh, in Salt Hill. So um, Wexford will be taking a lot of confidence in that game versus Kilkenny. How hard is it to go to a place like Wexford Park? You've been there many times, I presume. Yeah, but it's, it's Wexford, uh, and this is the beauty actually of this home and away scenario, I think having these games in the county grounds adds so much to the championship. Like we're going down to the likes of Walsh Park and Waterford, Choosing Park, Ennis, Wexford Park here. So it's, uh, I think, I think for, for Kilkenny, they're established, they're confident, they have a huge tradition. I don't think they're going to be intimidated, but for Wexford, it's a huge boon. The other big game then, of course, Dublin against Galway. That's also on this evening. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, it's going to be a close game. I think Dublin have everything to play for, and I think their steady improvement throughout the year and even from last year, I think they are a coming force. Um, so, you know, the, they have a bit of a tradition now against, against Galway uh, going back to the years since Galway came into the Leinster Championship. Lovely tea up there, Seamus. Speaking of that tradition, the 2013 Leinster final was a real cracker. Have a look here at some of the highlights. Skills pick out his hand, but it's not back him, it's not working, and here comes Dublin again, laying it off. Harris Paul Ryan does a shot. Oh, brilliant goal! Paul Ryan! Only Joe Cannon might reach that particular ball. He hit it Michael Parkman, and he does. So much better at the edge of the square. Cannon! That is a magnificent score! His sixth of the game. Wonderful catch by Kono Keeney. Keeney's effort comes for us. Paul Ryan gets away. Here's goal number two. Absolutely magical. No doubt. James Gall had no chance. It's Damien Higgs adding a little bit of 
buzz and energy to the half forward line. Here's Joe Cannon. Leadership required. Goal required. Great catch by Andy Smith. Sending it down towards Joe Cannon and company. David Berg. Oh, my word! Take that one up. You thought Goldman were gone home. They're not. The famine is over for Dublin. It's been a long time since 1961. 52 years ago. That wonderful honour to John McCaffrey from Lucan. For Dublin are the Leinster champions 2013. Great memories there from a Leinster Hurling point of view. Munster Hurling, of course, is also on, on tomorrow, on Sunday. Still an awful lot to play for there. First match we'll take a quick look at there is Cork against Clare in Cusick Park in Ennis. How hard does it go to Cusick Park in Ennis? Yeah, it's tough to go to the Cusick Park, but if the, all the uphill uh, slogging is going to be done by Clare tomorrow, they really have to correct two weeks of a atrocious form um, you know, and it really came out of nowhere for them after their, their opening day weekend uh, against Watford the home comforts might stand for something and the Clare players have said they're, they're going to bring it for their management team and for the county uh, but Cork are the more you know the, the more polished article this year have had great performances against both Limerick and Watford so um, the Clare need to win to get any possibility of going forward but even that they need to rely on Limerick to, to take a scalp from Tipperary yeah, speaking of Limerick having to go down to the Bear Pit, I suppose that is Semple Stadium. I know they're all Ireland champions, they're league champions. Still not an easy place to go to Turles. Limerick, though, they'll, they're supposed to start off poorly against Cork, but they've been flying since. I know you're going to say Tip are also flying since, but it should, it's all the makings of a great game. It should be. It, it, like, and I suppose a lot of people have actually pinned their, their hopes for you know one of the real epic games of the summer. And we had a great game in Nolan Park between Galway and Kilkenny, but Tip and Limerick, again, they've, pr they've produced some super games over the last number of years. Limerick have named an interesting team, you know, they've, they've given opportunities to guys who've been coming on. Uh, substitution Shane Dowling's going to start, a lad who'll be eager to make an, uh, an impact, but Tipperary on their home patch will be making, looking to make a, a real message, send a message to the rest of the Championship and the All-Ireland Series by, you know, securing their space in the Munster Final. And speaking of epic games, Limerick against Tipperary, the year was 2007. Three games. This one felt like it was going to go on forever. Here are the best bits of it now. Benny Dodd dropping this one in. As Tipperary seeks scores. John Carroll has it here. There's a chance. He flicks it and it's a goal. John Carroll. Shane McGrath makes an angle for himself but hits it over the bar. Barrett's uh, Michael Bryan gets inside the challenge. That's what you need from a half forward. Now can he finish? Class. Michael Bryan. Perhaps Holly Moore. Perhaps Pat Tobin takes a shot, and it is a goal! And Limerick and Tipperary have to do it all over again. Sensational news here with this Tipperary team. Brendan Cummins is dropped by Babs Keating. Jerry Kennedy is now the goalkeeper. Sniffing around the square, trying to get inside. Nice stick work by Butler, coming inside, takes a shot! Wonderful strike! On the 20 meter line, he goes for it. Stopped on the line by Jerry Kennedy. Dropping this one in, aiming for Brian Begley. Is there a connection? Not quite, it's still there. And it is in the goal. Dolly Moore coming through, tries to make an angle for himself, shoots and sends it over the bar. What a comeback. Limerick were down at half time by 10 points and they came back. Lays it off, there's a chance of a goal and there it is, goal for Tipperary. It's Andrew Shocklessy, he has to put it over the bar. It is over the bar. Here we go again. Second replay on the menu and it's Limerick and Tip that's heading back to Parknerdale. Lays it off. 
Where's Mike O'Brien? This is good play by Limerick. O'Brien is on the deck as this ball is sent in by Niall Moore and it sails over the bar. Gives it back for Hugh Maloney. Drops this one in. Where is the Limerick cover? It's Egan. It's a goal. Dispossesses him. This is Seamus Bucker. There's a chance they're queuing up on the left. Bucker turns under the right and it's over the bar. We have extra time for the second time in a second replay. Temporary to come now to an equaliser. Oh, a lovely pick up by Owen Kelly. And pass it out. Takes the first time. And the ball is in the net. Tuck out a long one by Jerry Kennedy. Niall Morton is there. As he goes to make it three points. It's sailing between the posts. The referee blows the full time whistle. Limerick have finally broken their bad luck. Fantastic win there for Limerick. Seamus Hickey beside me here, hurled every ball almost again. Good day for Limerick, Seamus. <laughs> it's hard to believe it was that long ago, 12 years ago. Incredible. Absolutely. And Limerick went on, well, Tip went on to a very mixed season after that. So what did Limerick went on to have one of the... Yeah, Shane Conrad, but it, or look at this. It was the vision. He looked to his left, then turned... Big 35. To this one. So we're just waiting here for Colum Lyons and the rest of the players to get in position for this second half. A lot of backroom team coming out there for Kerry. A few changes going on there inside in that, that end of the field. Seamus, is there something you're seeing there? That you want yeah, to so I see J John Buckley has gone back into the sweeper role for, for Kerry. Um, Sean Weir is back there. Brian Murphy, which means James O'Connor, I think, has pushed out the field a bit. And it looks like we're nearly ready once the enormous army of backroom team get off the field for both for both teams. We'll be getting the ball thrown in here now. Any time now, Colm Ryan's getting the second half underway in the Joe McDonough. Kerry won seven, Offaly six points. Kerry 15 men, Offaly 14 men as Peter Garrity was sent off there. And it's Kerry into the attack here. It's Michael O'Leary. He puts that one. He's slightly off balance when he put her in, but he puts that one in into the half forward line. It's coming as far as Shane Conway. Shane Conway, slightly off balance, takes his shot, but drives that to the right and wide. And that's Kerry's first of the second half with seventh overall. Yeah, good pressure then again from Killian Kiley. Killian Kiley has really been part of everything positive for Offaly. I think he's been having a super game all day as we see him on the ball. Kiley drives that one along. He has got a great puck, but it goes straight to a Kerry man on this occasion. It goes straight to Tomas O'Connor. O'Connor gives it on to Buckley. Buckley, who we said, kind of has drifted back for this second half. Offaly, the shot comes in. The shot, is it going to have the legs? And that one is over the cross. A good start, a good start to the second half for Offaly. Yeah, Sean Cleary has been really accurate. Uh, the chances he's been given in the last two games for Offaly, he's really taken them. That's really encouraging signs and a great start to the second half for Offaly. Sean Cleary's second point from play so far in this game. He also received a yellow card in the first half. And it's going to be poked out now by O'Halloran going down. He's looking to get this onto Michael O'Leary, into Michael O'Leary's hands. Peter Kelly came across there and got a touch and it was Kerry in possession of the ball through the goal scorer, Boyle. Boyle from a difficult angle. Maybe he had better options in there and that one drifts to the left and wide. Cahill was looking to take it quickly but the referee doesn't want him to do that but that's eight wide of the day for Kerry. Yeah, and so this is the kind of thing that Kerry need to avoid is this, you know, poor they can play the ball around. Quick, quick puck out there taken to David Nally, the man who just come on at half time. Nally plays that one into the ground up as far as going Parlin. Parlin, plenty of time and space here. Really had oceans and oceans of space. Leaves that one in long down inside, causing a bit of damage. Bounces, but bounces straight into the goalkeeper's hands. And Kerry come away with that one again. There might have been a bit of danger there, but it's averted. And Kerry come out with this one through Weir. Weir, a couple of men standing up to him. Gives that one back out as far as Mikey Boyle. Mikey Boyle from the D goes long with this one. Long ish, and brilliantly plucked out of the air Michael O'Leary Michael O'Leary gives a delicate pass inside if there's plenty of space in here here comes Jordan Conway he's got the whole of Austin Stack Park ahead of him Jordan Conway with a shot brilliant save very central but a great save the danger isn't cleared yet here still Conway fighting for it that was a real chance Owen Cahill may have kept his side possibly into Joe McDonough for another year with that save they still need to come out the field and put on a few scores with a great save the ball has worked its way back as far as Boyle Boyle with a shot and another great save another fantastic save we're talking about great goalies maybe gone from the game at the moment that's two brilliant ones there from Owen Cal. but Kerry still they come here again shot comes in and that one drifts straight over the crossbar finally to get the ball over the bar and that one goes over the bar there from Cullum Harty super super decision from Harty there at the end but what an exhibition of goalkeeping from Owen, Owen Cal. terrific saves here we have Jordan Conway look all the time in the world hits it off the stick 
makes Cahill stands big in the goal and as it comes back in then from, from Jordan Conway again a great great save I can't stress enough how important that is in the context of the game awfully concede a goal there and they really are you know it, they're down and out and a yellow card coming up there for for Offaly coming up there for Offaly's Dermot Egan seems to get a yellow card for a bit of a schmazzle there possibly possibly there with Bodrick Boyle didn't quite see that one but two great goal chances there that would have put the game to bed Owen Cahill did very well and Offaly are still in this game 1-8 to 7 points Colm Harty must have come on there as well we might see who we replace as time goes on here Colm Harty on then and eventually put that one over the bar didn't score the last day out speaking of people who scored the last day out though is Oshin Kelly Oshin Kelly decides to be very unselfish and plays that one across the square and Offaly are onto the shot comes in it's into the back of the net great finish there Oshin Kelly set it up knocked to the back of the net Offaly needed a goal, Offaly have got a goal, there's only a point in this game. Yeah, I know, we see that two danger men for Offaly link up there, great work from Oshin Kelly, sprinting down the sideline, sees Shane Dooley across, puts a, slashes the ball across, dangerous ball in, really got to be disappointed there, Brian Murphy, with the not collecting the ball, and then Shane Dooley, great finish. Shane Dooley 1-2 for the day that's his first score in the Joe McDonough front play but it's Kerry now on the attack Peter Kelly or Pat Kelly Pat Kelly takes a tip on the hurley the ball goes to ground this game has really kicked into life now only a score in it Kelly does well Kelly uses all his experience and wins himself a free the Offaly men are not one bit happy with that one but it's going to be a free and potentially a point for Kerry yeah really important to get the next score after a goal really great work from Patrick Kelly there On huge pressure here from Kylie and Shane Kinsler you know they're really battling really well there just column lines had judged him to have done too much but excellent work from Patrick Kelly especially in response to the score at the other end Shane Connor he got five from freeze in the first half he's going to step up to this one just outside the 21 yard line here Offaly get men back on the line. You'd expect Conway to put this one over the bar, though. I don't think he's thinking a goal at all. And he puts that one over the bar for his sixth of the day, all coming from three. Just worth noting there, Cullum Lyons brought that ball in 10, 20 metres from the position of the foul because of Offaly talking. You know, if, if they continue to do that, the referee will not be on their side. That Dooley goal, though, has turned this game on its head. It might have been drifting away from them, drifting away from them slowly, but now that one has kicked it back into life. Only two points in this game. The ball around the halfway line there. Eventually is picked up by the Kerry man. He starts to drive out, driving out from full back there. Giving that one across. Goes across as far as Boyle. Boyle now possession. The man who got the goal gives a lovely pass on to the runner there, O'Connor. O'Connor runs into a brick wall though and goes to the ground. And then another brick wall being ran into. Another brick wall being ran into there by Shane Kinsley and he goes to ground. Cullum Lyons going to have to have a talk with Podrick Boyle. It looks like Boyle who just got the goal a few minutes ago. Lyons is taking him away from the crowd to have a word with him. Yeah, Tomas O'Connor mistimed or, or poorly judged his decision to run on with the ball there. Podrick Boyle went for the shoulder, Kinsler turned inside and he met him in the chest. Depends on what a referee has judged, whether he met him in the head with the shoulder or not, because otherwise, if he, has, if he has met him in the head with the shoulder, the ref is going to penalise him heavily here and could be balancing the numbers. Boyle getting a talk and he would be a huge loss if the Lions decides to give a red. More than likely a yellow, and there it is, a yellow. A yellow there for Podrick Boyle, the goal scorer yeah. for Kerry. And the ref has judged that he made contact with the chest there and not the head. Very, very important distinction because regardless of intent or otherwise, connection with the shoulder and the head has been heavily penalised in this in this championship this year by referees. 1-9 to 1-7, 41 minutes gone here in Austin Stack Park. Offaly looked to have a man warming up down there. That man looks to be Tom Spain. He's spitting on his hands, he's getting ready, he's doing a few warm-ups there with Jor Oakley, so we might see him come on in a few minutes. Looks like another big man who will cause lots of issues for this Kerry team. 1-7 to 1-9. This one really has cracked up, though. We thought maybe at half-time that Offaly had done enough to me, well, not done enough, the Kerry had done enough to pull away. But as it stands, this one is all to play for. And, and it really was, it was, it was a Kerry error that let, let the Shane Dooley get possession of that ball and put him back in net. Brian Murphy had chance to snuff that ball out. Yes, it was a dangerous ball across from Oshin Kelly. But even earlier than that, I saw Owen Parlin get a, gather a ball for, for Offaly in the middle of the field and had time. Time to pick out Dooley in the full forward line or time to pick out Bergen or Connolly who's inside there. And if Kerry give them that opportunity, they're going to be, they're going to be in huge danger of conceding goals and goals is what's going to keep Offaly in challenge in in contention here. A couple of things going on here on the side. It looks like Ushin Kelly has come off, but I think he's just changing his jersey. He might have got maybe a bit of blood in it. He's receiving a bit of attention, but I'd expect him to go back on. And as we said again, Tom Spain has come on. Tom Spain has come on there for uh, Damian Egan. I think Tom Spain is coming in there into the half back line. 
So yeah, Oshin Kelly will come back onto the field wearing number 32, so we'll keep an eye out for him. He's, of course, their main danger man and main target for most of the ball into that Offaly full forward line. Yeah, and they've struggled to get him into the game, but you can see the few times that he has gone on the ball, you know, his pace down the wing there and his decision to put it back across, across the face of goal was the difference there. Just a two-point game here in this hugely crucial game for both sides. Yeah, and Tomás O'Connor there, you see he's been rattled by the by the decision. He tried to take the contact um, when he took the hand pass and it didn't work out well for the, for the Kerry midfielder. Owen Kelly, or Owen Cahill, I should say, is coming out to take this one. Much like to where he's Owen Kelly, he looks like he's only taking this free. This man has the range, scored a point from similar distance, maybe even a bit farther out against Antrim in Offaly's last game out. He's testing the wind here, he's into the breeze here though, but he does look like he fancies his chances. Here comes Cahill now, of course he's kept his team in this to a huge extent with two fantastic saves just in the last five or six minutes or so. That one comes up, the umpires have a good long look at that one and he puts that one straight over the bar. That's two points from Owen Cahill today, two exceptional saves. He really can't do much more for his team to keep them in this game. Super, super stuff from the goalkeeper. Absolutely coming from a strong tradition of Offaly goalkeepers. Stephen Byrne, we're only talking about a little bit off air, another fantastic goalie that lined out with Offaly for many years. And that one goes long down inside, it's picked up there picked up there by Kinsla. Kinsla goes back as far as Kylie. Kylie looks outside. He has a bit of time to pick out a man. Tries to find a man and he eventually does over there. It's Connolly. Connolly of Offaly on his left hand side. Shoots that one. But oh, it's harmless enough. Drifts all the way in as far as O'Halloran in the Kerry goal and he drives that one out. Looking to find his man. He finds his man well. That man is Pa Kelly. Pa Kelly gives that one down inside. Oh, just didn't quite find the run of Conway. It looked like he was aiming for. But a good idea I suppose. Yeah, no, good, good Vision from John B. O'Halloran in the goals to find Patrick Kelly out there, wing forward, unmarked. Uh, looking for Conway in loads of space, just too much on the ball, overcooked it a little bit. Just the point in this one, though, there's still all to play for here, 44 minutes gone, and that one is going down long. O'Connor's under it for Kerry, gets a hand on it, and he has possession of the ball, he loses it just as I say it, and the ball has gone to ground again. Four or five players go up for it. It looks like Collins there might be involved, and gives that one back outside. It's Mikey Boyle. Mikey Boyle does a bit of hockey with it, but manages to hold on to possession, no matter what sport he's playing. It doesn't matter. Here comes Shane Conway, the man with the Midas touch, and there he goes, another hop off the ground, I think. Gives that one inside as far as his namesake, Jordan Conway. Gordon, Jordan Conway, what a turn! Ball doesn't sit nicely for him, but eventually gets it back in control of possession. The shot comes in, and that one is over the crossbar. Another score for Kerry. Uh, super work from Jordan Conway. He's been lively all day. He's been given. He's given Kerry an outlet from number 14 all day long. Super ball in from from Shane. His namesake again, like you said. But the touch here, get away from him. Did enough there. Get it back into the hand. And number of Offaly bodies around him did very well to get that strike away. Good score there for Conway. He got three against Westmead. There gets one today. That's his first score. Now it's awfully back in possession of the ball. They've worked around their midfield there and they're still holding on to their two. Kinsella has gone to ground a little bit down. Shane Conway has come a little bit deeper in the last few minutes. Played outside as far as Goulding. Nice little piece of control. He has plenty of time and space. He looks up, he fancies this one. But it's gone to the left. Has it actually gone out? It has gone to the left and wide for Kerry's ninth wide of today's game. Yeah, and Jack Goulding had more space there to run into. He chose to actually hit off the run from the 65 instead of planting, taking and steadying himself a small bit. Uh, and because he's a you know a marksman himself for corner forward, will able to take a score. Two points still in this one, still anyone's game, still a huge amount on the line for both teams here. And the ball is in possession there of O'Connor. O'Connor of Kerry gives that one down, looking for Goulding, who just had that shot. But the race is going to be won there by Egan of Offaly. But it goes out of play, and it's going to be a sideline. It's going to be a free or taken over here now. Yeah, an easy one, an easy one for column lines there when, when Goulding was into the back of, of Egan there. But this is finally balanced, this game. Offaly, Offaly despite being in a hole at half time, have come out with a great response in the second half. Here comes Killian Kiley, who we were talking about a while ago, actually won the puck fought at the national finals here, or back 2018, I suppose, when they took place. And he won that. The fellow who came second to him is also here today. Brendan Cummins, the carry selector. The shot comes in. The shot comes in from about 65 yards out. It's high, but it's to the left. To the left and wide for Kerry. Kerry's 10th wide of today's game, and they may rule these chances. And you'll see, so as we see a sub come in for Offaly, so number 19. James Gorman comes in and leaving the field to Shane Kinsler. You know, again, he's doing an awful lot of work around the middle field, Shane, so he, he's just getting a break. These carry chances have come and gone now. We've had a number of wides. They'll start to make an impact psychologically because these are all chances to try and distance themselves from, from Offaly, and everyone they miss will, will count against them. They've already got five in this second half. Offaly yet to get one. Maybe about Offaly haven't created enough chances, you could also argue. Here they go, about to create a chance. The shot comes in. 
a man who took it didn't look happy. The very minute it left Connolly's hurley, he wasn't happy, and that's to the left and Air Force wide in the second half. Yeah, it just shows you how much harder Offaly have to work for their scores. But Connolly again, you know, getting on the ball. He was on the ball a while ago, dropped the ball short into the keeper. But you know, Offaly lively, getting on the ball in the second half, better than they did in the first. John B. O'Halloran with that one way down outside, looking for his half force to get in possession. That looking for O'Leary. The ball has gone to ground. Oh, oh and O'Leary was away with it, but Cullum Lyons says he picked it straight off the ground, and it's going to be a free out. O'Leary needs that one high when he has to go to ground before he takes him a long time even to bend down to pick up the ball. But when he did that, didn't use the hurdle, he used his hand, and that's going to be a free out. And here we go again, looking for his third point of the day, possibly, is Owen Cahill in the Offaly goal. If you had to pick out maybe an Offaly man in a match at this stage, I know they're down by two points, but he's done pretty well from the goals. Two scores, two goal shots saved. Here we come. We'll say arguably 70 yards out here, straight in front of the goals. How is that one going? It looks to be decent, but it's gone to the right and wide. 11 now for Kerry. I'm even surprised he had the distance there. That's, a, that's an exceptional puck of the ball, 10, 10 metres in his own half uh, and against the breeze, but you know, still game, one point game. Two point game. Two point game is right. Very little in this, though. Could really go either way. Plucked out of the air like a salmon jumping up for that one. And it's off. You come out of this one, working this one down inside. They're trying to work. They have a one awfully man against two carry men. But it's the awfully man who's causing the most danger there. Shane Dooley. Shane Dooley eventually gets that under control. Dooley looks like he was winding up for the shot. Still Dooley lays it outside. The shot comes in. Oh, goal chance there. It goes over the bar. They'll have to be happy with the point there. But there was a goal on. Shane Dooley was 1v3 there and he managed to win that ball. Incredible work from the Offaly man. Ball goes in here. His main objective here is to get the ball to ground here. Gets his in. Look at the work he has to do here. Two Offaly men on him and the third comes in trying to put pressure on him. And look at this then. The vision, Cleary moving off him. That could easily have been a goal. And that's Cleary's third point of today's game. He's putting in a decent performance as well up there in the half forward position. Back there now, Offaly back in possession again. They're starting to come into it in the last few minutes. And here he is now, the man who just got the, the last point. They're driving up forward here again. Well worked there by Spain, who only came on a few minutes ago. Does he fancy this when he left that one in? It's a dangerous one, it's dropping around the house. Oh, there was a chance there. It looked like it looked like Joe Bergen nearly got his hurley onto that, but it's worked out again. Jack Goulding, John B. O'Halloran did well in the carry goal. And Goulding, who is flying up the line here, still Goulding the ball on his hurley. In and out, still Goulding. He's passed another man, still Goulding. He's passed his third man, still Goulding. He's up to the 21, Goulding off the stick. Oh, he must have been tired after taking him past the three players. That would have been goal of the season contender if he'd managed to make a proper connection with that. Ah, listen, he all the skill was right there. Just an awful shame that he couldn't execute that and get old bar. He did incredibly well to win to get that far into the awfully defense. And awfully worked that one again. The shot comes in from way downtown, but it goes to the left and wide, and they need to be converting all these chances. Here we see, let's just take a look again at Goulding. Look at the pace. Really, really superb stuff. And then takes a carry inside. And then we just flick around and over a man's head. Yeah. And gets Killian Kiley as well, one of the better Offaly defenders. Just a strike at the end, let him know. Absolute poetry in motion till the shot came in at the end. And here's Shane Conway. Gives that one inside. Waiting for the pass back. Still Conway here. He's in a bit of bother. A few players around him. Throws it over a player's head. Offaly lads didn't like that on the sideline either. They cut him lines. There's cut him lines and he took a step out over the sideline. Either way, his progress is halted. Oh, it's going to be a freeze. The judges have been fouled. Shane Connor will take that all day long. I don't think the Offaly players are delighted about it, but of course they wouldn't be. So it will be another chance for Conway to add to his score. He's already got six in this game, all coming from freeze. One of the things that actually, actually amazes me about Shane Conway is his ability to operate in no space. He had two feet between the Offaly player and the sideline there, managed to jink inside, flick the ball ahead of himself and get ahead. It was only the Offaly man coming in with the illegal challenge that, that halted his progress. Super, super sticker. So here's Conway from a difficult angle right here, just, just inside the field of play, 65 yards out. Kerry could do with a score here. He looks calm and collected, bends that one, and looks to be curling around the post. And the umpires are happy, and that's his seventh of the day. Ah, super, super leadership from Shane Conway there. That's as tough a free as you're going to get right on the sideline on 65. Awfully puck out one quickly, as you'd expect in a game of this magnitude. They need a win. Even the draw would do Kerry, but Offaly need the win. And Kylie opens up his shoulders and launches that one in, dropping in around dangerously, knocking out of play yet. Still in possession here. It looks like Dooley on the ball. Dooley goes left and right. Still Dooley looking for some support. Gives a lovely ball out to Cleary. Cleary in acres of space. Cleary puts that one straight between the posts. That ball will pay dividends for Offaly, I think, all throughout this second half. 
Kylie did a really, really smart thing, just delivered in long. And Dooley and Bergen and I suppose Oshin Kelly will be in there at different times. They'll do the hard work. Ball out to Cleary in his fourth point from play. Awfully need to win. As we said, Kerry, can, the draw will do them. The draw is enough for them to keep them up. Awfully need this win. So they, at another point, they're taking this to 111 to 111. Isn't enough for them. Still plenty of time to go here, though. 52 minutes gone, 111 to 110 in favour of the home side. And that one is left in again. No one gets a hand in initially until Brian Murphy of Offaly works that one out. Looking for it now. A couple of players around there, but it's eventually Conley of Offaly. Conley, who's wearing 13, but he's way back in his own half. Oh, too many steps, there's column lines, and it's going to be a free in, and another chance for Shane Coleman to extend Kerry's lead. Yeah, there's a split second where you have a decision to make, whether you offload the ball or you take a, a jink. Connolly, unfortunately, made the wrong decision there. But I was just looking at Kerry, Kerry put the ball in long there for Brian Murphy from the puck out. With their numerical advantage, just, they're not using it, putting long ball in to guys who don't have a distinct physical advantage inside them. You know, unless it's into space to the sides, they really need to be working the ball and using their numbers around the middle. Here comes Shane Conway going for eight from three. Shane Conway, 66 yards out, puts that one over the bar, and he is keeping them going in fairness to eight threes for Shane Conway. Yeah, it's worth saying how dependable Shane Conway is. He's, uh, his striking has been absolutely hypnotic, how consistent it's been. And even though he's not scoring from play, he's still doing enough to keep Kerry tipping away here. And awfully now possession of the ball through Kylie. Kylie's dropping these bombs in the whole time. And it's Oshin Kelly, who's wearing 32. He came off there a minute ago and changed his jersey. But the ball slips off his hurley and it's into a Kerry man. And Kerry come away through Collins. Collins doesn't put that in his hand, just turns and lashes that one down inside, inside to a danger area. Here comes Conway. Conway with the shot. Conway decided to put that one high. Played the percentage to put that one over the bar. Possibly a goal chance, but a good score from Conway. But the, the pace of which Collins his turn and struck that without actually putting it into his hand. That's what creates the chance here because the Offaly defenders don't even have a chance to get set up under that. Conway then gets the break, puts it over. Great, great score for Kerry. And Kerry come again. Offaly don't manage to do well with that. Their own puck out and it's Conway on the run here. Conway puts that one forward and it's Kelly here. Kelly gives the hand pass inside looking for O'Leary. Just out of reach of O'Leary. He's good six foot five arm. Couldn't get a hold of that but a Kerry man gets a hold of it eventually and a shot comes in. He's off balance there is Boyle. And that one, does that one go to that? It's going to be a free in instead. He was maybe even pulled off balance there. Yeah, yeah, Colm Lyons played the advantage well there. Pottery Boyle pulled back, he said. Uh, when the shot didn't go over the bar. Advantage, free in. Yeah, now Kerry have picked it up in the last five minutes, notably. Uh, they've really gotten on top. And some of the ball, like so Conway there, good ball into Patrick Kelly, who had a lot of work to do winning it over, over Killian Kiley. Um, Kerry really, 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 really impressed with the last five minutes. And it needed to, because Goffley were creeping back in. Tom Spain there, the substitute getting a yellow card there for Offaly. Three points in about 15 minutes to go. This is the biggest 15 minutes of Offaly hurling, as we said, since about 1998. They need to throw everyone onto the line here. We need to see some urgency for them. Kerry will be happy enough to keep tipping on these points. As we said, a draw will do them. Here comes Shane Conway looking for his ninth from free today. Conway goes, Conway shoots, and Conway scores. Yeah, Mr. Dependable there. But again, I think that, you know, the way this, this second half is going to pan out, because the ball is going to hang up in the breeze, if Offaly go long and direct into the full, full forward line, there will be goal chances all day. And the ball is pucked out there long again. Offaly men go up for it, but it goes to ground there. Eventually won over there by Gorman. Gorman on the ball. I think Gorman's still in possession of the ball. Hands that one inside as far as Bargain. Bargain with the shot. Shorten's up to Hurley. Bargain with the shot and Bargain with the score. Super stuff, and again, it comes from a simple setup on a puck out. Gorman gambled on that ball breaking through for the puck out. If you actually take a look at puck out statistics, it'll break either in front of the man going up for the ball or the, behind the man going up for the ball. So if you gamble either in front or behind, you can get collect that ball at pace. Super stuff from Gorman, and the pass into Bergen results in a score. So, still three here coming up on about 13 minutes of normal time to play. Fulham lines beckons down to the Offaly goalie to puck that or to the Kerry goalie to puck that one out and we just see Kevin Connolly coming off the field there we might have a look down to see who replaced him there in two seconds time but his ball is cleared there by Keneally up the line up as far as this big man Ushin Kelly Ushin Kelly turns his man Ushin Kelly in acres of space still Kelly off the hurley with the shot and over the cross oh it's well saved it seemed to lose a bit of impetus as it was heading towards the line but Offaly back in possession here through Shane Dooley gives a lovely pass off the stick still working up here on the ball just does 
doesn't get up into his hand, unfortunately, there. Wouldn't get up into David Nally's hand. From an awfully point of view, that was a chance wasted. Yeah, did you, Oshin Kelly, the pace that he explodes onto the... Look at the acceleration here, the power. And he, he has to hit it off the hurl, he can't catch it again. And it just undercooks it. Really good by John B. O'Halloran, because that was going over the bar. He saved the score. Yellow card here for Brian Murphy. A lot of cards been dished out here today. I suppose there's a lot in the line. This is the time to be throwing in those tackles, technical, I suppose, the professional fouls, as they'd call them. This is the time to be doing them. He lost his hurley there as Ocean Kelly went past him. I suppose he's just throw everything he had at him at that stage. Yellow card anyway for Brian Murphy. Ball fucked out there now by uh, Cahill there, or by O'Halloran, I should say. And we're away again. Oh, the free free comes in over this. Looked like Kerry were away. Look at Jack Goulding might have been on his bike there, but it's going to be a free out, a free out for Offaly. Yeah, it's just been, it's been a scrappy game. Uh, stop start in nature. Cullum Lines has blown his whistle, but players are, have just been a little bit undisciplined under dropping balls, under breaking balls when the ball goes to ground. So, you know, the result is uh, a very stop start game. A dangerous lead though, only three points in this one. From an Offaly point of view, they're well in contention here. And this one goes down to Ocean Kelly. The more ball they can get him, the longer they'll stay in con contention. Still Kelly has a bit of support, lays it off outside. The shot comes in, or is it a pass? It's going across the face of the goal. Still danger here. Look, they've been dragged down there. Was there a foul? Cullum Lines and the umpires both said, no, that's a wide. Cullum Lines says, get up, play on. No foul there. Still 114 to 111 in favour of Kerry. Yeah, Paddy Buck, or John Buckley and... and uh James Gorman under the ball. As you can see, a drop in here. Yeah, contest for the ball. Buckley puts his hands up, says, I'm not, I didn't do anything wrong. Look at he get away with it. Would have been a nice one to get, in fairness, from an Offaly point of view, and they walk it through the lines here. Nice stick passing from Kerry, as we've seen a few times in this game. Definitely something they've worked on with their management team. But it's an Offaly man now in possession of the ball. They start to come away with the ball again. Nice little stick pass forward. Offaly starting to build here. Good work on the ball there. Back in their own half back line, trying to just drive out there was Sean Dolan, but he was impeded and it's going to be a free out. Looks like it's going to be Kylie coming over to take this one for Offaly. Kylie checks the breeze as we spoke about a while ago. This fella has a decent puck of the ball. He could potentially put this one over. The breeze has dropped. Is he going to eye this one up and go for it himself? I don't think so. He looks like he's going to look around for the pass into the corner. But has he made a complete... Oh, a lovely shot in. Unfortunately, doesn't give up to an Offaly man. Dropped it in around the house. Tried to be as dangerous as he could with that ball. But unfortunately, from an Offaly point of view, there's a foul in there and it's going to be a free out to Kerry. Michael Boyle has flashed every now and again throughout this game, but when he does, it's strength under the high ball. He has been consistently strong under that dropping ball. Uh, and he, right where he needed to be, a dangerous dropping ball in around the square. Kerry have to be under, under assignment there to prevent any sort of danger. 10 minutes in oral time to go here. Three points in this, three points left in this crucial. Joe McDonough clash, and a shot comes in there from out by the sideline, and that is a great score. Podrick Boyle, who has got Kerry's goal, he's now got another point for them, which might be an insurance score for their point of view. He did exceptionally well there to fetch that ball. Forest of hurlies and hands up there. He did extremely really well. Great finish too. The Kerry number 13 there with that score. Podrick Boyle, fantastic effort from him out there on the far sideline. And the ball has gone to ground again up here in the danger zone from a Kerry point of view. The Offaly men try to bend and pick. Clearly, who's got three already or four even tried to get on that. The ball eventually works its way out. The shot comes in there by Gorman, but it goes to the left and wide. And that's Offaly's eight wide, only their third of the second half, but eight overall, as opposed to Kerry's 11. But it's a chance Offaly need to be taken. And both teams have had their periods where they've created chances, they just haven't converted them. So Offaly have been in, they've been sniffing around that goal, they've had shots at points, they've had points that were going over the bar, better down. It's both teams have had opportunities that just aren't going over. Goes short there, that one went to James O'Connor and he drives that one down in around the full forward line and Kerry onto this is Conway, Conway inside the big square, Conway on the edge of it, Conway still in possession of the ball, decides to calm everything down and give it back to Pat Kelly, unfortunately put too much on it for Kelly, nice deft little touch there by Cleary and Offaly come away with this one, down into a bit of space here, this could be a chance here for Dooley, Dooley standing up his man, Dooley slips at a very vital stage but he holds on to possession, still Dooley, shortens up the stick but that one looks to have drifted to the right and wide, good move from Dooley though, great foot yeah, Dooley looked like he had all the space. He did extremely well to be, you know, 10, man, 10 yards off his man, got out ahead of him. And I thought just the, the slip when he turned into him cost him, cost him the shot. Um, unfortunately, then when he took, took it at too fine an angle. Four points coming up on only about eight minutes left of normal time. Offerly need to do this to kick themselves in, to keep them in the Joe McDonough for next year. As it stands, Kerry will stay up and Offerly will go down. 
The ball is poked out there again into Kerryman, who's onto it again. That Kerryman is Collins. Collins gives that across to Kelly. Kelly with a bit of space decides to drive this one. Gary Owen style up into the air. Conway's trying to get in underneath that, but it's well caught there. Well caught there by Cahill, who has been a safe pair of hands in that awfully goal so far today. And he's drove that one as far as he can over Cleary's head, though. Cleary puts in a tackle. Slightly high column lines, maybe he decides here we'll play on to all the one at this stage. But <laughs> he doesn't go as far as we'd like. Offaly still in possession of the ball. Well worked down to Cleary. Cleary has four today already. He's up to the 21. Still Cleary goes past his man. Cleary, the ball on his stick. Still Cleary. Tackle comes in from behind. And that's going to be a free. Should be a handy enough free in there. Cleary seemed to do well. A couple of players on his back. 14 yards out and he's fouled and it's going to be free in. Yeah, Tomas O'Connor lost his stick. He did everything he could to bring the man down. But Cleary was away. Cleary was did extremely well to get around him. Look, Connor comes in here, loses his a man gets around him, loses his hurley, and it just puts two hands on his back. That's, that's desperation stuff. Um, but really, really good stuff from Cleary. He's been he's been really a standout performer for Offaly all day. Yeah, four points from him. And here comes Dooley with seven minutes to go in normal time. Your Joe McDonough survival on the line. Do you go for a goal here? Here he goes. He decides to put it over. Probably still plenty of time. It's probably realistically going to be three or four minutes. But that's another point for Dooley. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely right decision there from Shane. That many number, that number of Kerry jerseys on the line. Take your point. Three-point game. One score. One three for Dooley so far today. The goal is accredited to him, of course, because he did some great work to knock it into the back of the net. And three points coming from Freeze. Also a yellow card for Dooley. So a busy, a busy day for him. Work down inside. Jordan Conway is out to it. Jordan Conway over in the far side of the field. Still Conway. So pacey, this guy. Conway still on the ball. Flicks that one back outside. The shot, oh, it's worked the way back in. Shot maybe didn't go to its intended target, and it's worked out there through Egan. Egan gives that one down inside. Well worked through Offaly. They've worked this one all the way up, all the way up to Gorman. Offaly still in possession of the ball. The shot comes in slightly off balance. Is it going to have the direction and the accuracy? It does. Lands on top of the net and just over the crossbar. That's super work by Gorman. A great score, but the, the Offaly defenders, a block on Jack Goulding's shot down the far end, started that whole thing. Offaly are fighting for everything. It's great to see two points in it. Game on. Absolutely, only two here with about five and a half minutes of normal time to go. This really is anyone's game still, and the ball comes in. Jordan Conway, who has been dangerous all day long for Kerry, doesn't get onto it this time, though, and it looks like it's, it looks like it's Keneally back there trying to come out with it, eventually awfully come away with it, which is the main thing from their point of view. Hand pass back, and this time it's Con who, or Keneally who clears it. Down up inside, looking for the awfully forwards, looking for anyone to get onto that. Oshin Kelly was the target of that one. Oshin Kelly was outnumbered, those two against one. As we haven't mentioned for a while, but Garrett, he was sent off, the number 12 for Offaly, he was sent off after about six minutes of this game. So Offaly have been playing for the last 55 odd minutes with one man down. So Kerry, are doing very well, but awfully, I suppose, they have to be commended. Nine games played this year, only one win, 14 men down, five minutes or so left of their possible Joe McDonough history to be on the line here, and they're doing very well to stay in this game. Yeah, Tomás Connor did very well tracking back there, and, you know, he could have gone across the field to open Kerry men, but played the ball down the line to, to Shane Conway, and he's just, he's, he's fearless when he gets the ball. He goes at goal, and it's because, you know, he's so dangerous that he just draws freeze, um, and again, you know, it was I'd expect him to score it. And this will be his 10th. He got 10 in two other Joe, Mac Joe McDonough games this year. Can he make it 10 for a third time? He looks like he can. Yes, there we go. White flag, and that one's gone out over the stand, over the net, and into the Dunstores car park behind the goals. That could be a big score, too, to push it back out to three. Back out to three. Under five minutes to play here in Austin Stack Park here in Tralee in this crucial Joe McDonough relegation final we're going to call it for want of a better term and they're working this one around Kerry again driving that one down towards Goulding and Conway Goulding stays down while Conway goes up and the ball comes down and it's an awfully man who works it out and flicks it away flicks it away to a bit of safety and awfully start to build on this one again they drive that one looking for Cleary Cleary's behind his man though and it's well taken by Mikey Boyle I think it was Boyle plays that one outside down as far as Harty Harty was a point already today usually plays in the forward seems to be back in his own defence here but that shot comes in from a huge distance out and you can hear the crowd behind that one and that is a great score from Kerry super work there by Michael Boyle working the ball out to, to Colm Harty the depth that he come back to field 
I, I questioned whether he should be shooting from there, but that is a long-range missile. Great stuff. He didn't score the last. He got two today. These ones are crucial. 117 to 113 in favour of Kerry here. And this will be a huge scalp for them to take here down in their home ground in Austin Stack Park. Awfully back in possession of the ball. They don't want that to happen. They don't want to be the lads who knock Kerry down to the third tier of hurling in Ireland. Here they go, though. It's a Kerry man in possession of the ball. He looks like he's won himself a free. Seems to be fairly happy about that. That is Sean Weir. Yeah, Sean Weir did excellent work there. Again, soft enough free in the middle of the field. You know, here we can see it. Sean, Sean Weir gets the ball, steps inside. Uh, awfully many even let go of this early and, and Weir was away with the ball but Colm Lyons decides that Shane Conway's striking is good enough to punish that If you were Sean Weir in a corner back coming up around the 65 would you be happy to ref glue the whistle there and you can let your free taker take this free? Yeah, he's had one shot one wide alright that's fair <laughs> And here comes Conway looking for his 11 to the day so I think Kerry probably will be happy from this point of view even the time it's taken to take this free is an advantage for Kerry 117 as you can see to 113 two and a half minutes of normal time this to make it 11 for Conway, eyeing this one up. He was the under 21 B player of the year last year as well. This lad has potential bags of it. And the shot comes in. Again, it looks to be as straight as an arrow. And that's over the cross for 11, 11 for Shane Conway. Yeah, and a five point lead where Offaly had pulled it back to two moments ago. So a great response from Kerry. Offaly now nearly need a goal. It might be slightly early to be saying, with two minutes left of normal time. They, maybe it's not either. Here we come. Here comes Kylie. Kylie with the shot. Kylie said, I'm sick of seeing what the forwards can do up there. I'm going to have a go. But unfortunately, maybe he should have left it into one of those forwards as that goes to the right and wide. Yeah, Colin Lyons seems to have given him advantage there. He saw, he saw a foul, so he's given awfully free. In. Uh, but again, Killian Kylie has led as best he possibly can all game long. He's been one of the awfully players I've been most impressed with in this Joe McDonough Cup. Um, he did everything he could there. He's the ball. Shane Dooley's gone looking for a ball. He needs to do this quickly because every second is awful, isn't now at this stage? Absolutely, about a minute and a half or so. We'll keep an eye on the board down there to see when it goes up how much at a time there will be. But absolutely, this is crucial. Awfully need to up their urgency level a little bit more if they can at all. With only 14 men though, they must be feeling in their legs at this stage. Here comes Dooley. He's got one three already today. Three of them coming from free. So this will be his fourth from free if he can get this one over. Looks to be confident enough strike. And it is, it's an easy decision for the umpire. That one's over the bar. That's his fourth from a free today. 1-4 for the man from Tullamore. Yeah, and the next puck out is key. I think Offaly need to need to pick up all the loose men and force O'Halloran to go along here because, uh, you know, a 50-50 ball is their best bet here. Absolutely, and one man I think all the Offaly supporters will be looking here for will be that fourth official to see what time he puts up on that board as we're into the last minute or so of normal time. And it's Kerry who are in possession of the ball. They've just lost it. Conway came across and managed to flick that away. But now it's back in possession of Offaly. Dolan was back there and they start to drive out again. Good work there by Offaly. And they work and hand pass it back in their own full back line. They need to get it to the other, other end of the field. Eventually they drive it out. And it's brilliantly, absolutely brilliant piece of skill there by Kelly. Took, took two touches on the Hurley, then ran on and flicked it on. He was aware there was someone on his back and gives that one across as far as Dooley. Dooley turns on his left hand side. But Dooley puts that to the left and agonizingly from an Offaly point of view wide. That's huge. That's hugely, that's so costly. That could have brought the that game, this game back to four, three points. Oshin Kelly, the skill to be able to collect that ball was immense. That's the tenth wide there for Offaly. And just as you're, we were talking about the fourth official, just puts down the board and I just happened to miss it. So we're just going to have to live in hope that someone else off the post there. The shot comes in and the shot goes wide. Owen Cattle is he's in a hurry. He wants to take this one quickly. He's looking around. He's trying to find someone up around the 45. He goes long. There seems to be something went on in the air a little bit. The referee wasn't happy with what he saw. And we're going to have a free, a free into Offaly. Shane Dooley standing over this one. His side are down three points. It's 118 to Kerry. It's 115 to Offaly. Shane Dooley standing over this one. He might drop it in, lob it in, looking for a score, but no, he decides to take his point here. He's hoping the next puck out there might knock it in and get a goal out of that one. That was, a, I suppose, he played the percentages there. Did Shane Dooley, the experienced Offaly man, who's got a goal earlier on in this game. His side need to get this. A win today is hugely important for them. Kerry, as we've said a few times today, they'll get away with a draw, but Offaly need to win. Now the ball is in the hands of John B. O'Halloran of Kerry. He goes long. He drives this down over the 265. It's down onto the 45. John O'Leary of Kerry went up for it, but doesn't manage to get it. And it's an awfully man who comes away with it. They start to build out of the back. John O'Leary there, we can see the Kerry man all over the back. 
all over the back there of the man who had the number eight in his jersey, Sean Dolan. He's cleared that out. And there's the final whistle. The final whistle is blown. And that is the final gong that Offaly will hear in the Joe McDonough. They are going to be playing in the Christie Ring next year, down to the third level of hurling in Ireland. It's not a good day for Offaly. A sad day for everyone associated with the fateful county. A county only won the Senior All-Ireland back in 1998. And now they find themselves down in the Christie Ring. Not a good day, but a good day for Kerry. They will be happy. They have managed to hang on and they will be playing in the Christie Ring next year. They will be playing in the Joe McDonough next year, I should say. It will be awfully in the Christie Ring. Seamus, a sad day for Offaly, as we said. What's your take on that? It, it's heartbreaking, I'll be honest. It, it's just tough to watch. It's very, very disappointing for the people of Offaly, but Kerry deserved that. Great day for Kerry Hurling, a great win for them here today. They will have to take that 118 to 116. Like Kerry, they, they got the goal, I suppose, when it, the goal was very important and they got it at maybe the right time, just before half time, and that maybe quashed Offaly for a while. But then Offaly came back in the second half, so it's hard to know why, how could you pinpoint where Offaly lost this game? I, I still think, yeah, no, I think it's Garrity. I think it's Garrity's dismissal. Uh, not, sorry, not putting it all on, 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 on Peter Garrity, but I'm just saying the, the, uh, the, the noticeable difference in Offaly's play after that point in the first half. Uh, Kerry weren't convincing uh, at any point. They had flashes where they've played really, really well. Their goal before half time couldn't have been timed any better. It was excellent. But, you know, even in the second half with their wides, with their use of ball, it was not convincing. So, you know, again, the, 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 table, the table shows that Kerry finished on four points. Um, you know they've had a, de a good year by by their standards. You know, and they can't be disappointed. But it'll show that Offaly had zero. You know, they played four games and lost four. Where do Offaly go from here? Now we we're talking about before going down to Chris Ring Maybe isn't the worst thing in the world. We say at club level all the time. If you're up senior, you keep getting beaten senior. It doesn't do anything for your hurling team. When you go down to intermediate, you get the confidence up again. Talk to us a bit about that. Listen, of, of all the counties, Offaly have. You know, I think they have a huge chance to 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 build something long lasting from Chris Ring. So it's, you know, I, I genuinely think if the people of Offaly come together, accept this result for what it is, accept the Christie Ring competition for what it is, and, uh, you know, it's, it, I, I do think there's opportunity here if, if everybody in Offaly sees it. And then from a Kerry point of view, Kerry are at home, and here's the full-time score. Kerry 118, Offaly 116. A great day for Kerry Hurling and Fairn, beating the aristocrats of Hurling that would be seen as Offaly. Offaly of four All-Ireland. Kerry only have the one. Down here in Austin, Stack Park, there's a decent crowd here. What's this going to do for Kerry Hurling to stay in the Joe McDonough for another year? Yeah, no, it's good for Kerry, because, I, listen, I, th I think this is... This is the standard that, that Kerry are producing, this is the standard that, that Offaly are producing. You know, the, the scoreboard doesn't lie, the table from the Joe McDonough Cup doesn't lie. It, you, the results reflect the, the hurling throughout the year, uh, and that's always been the way. So Kerry deserve to be in the middle of the pack. You know, Westmead, their draw today takes them into the final with Leash anyway. There, were, you know, there was a very long outside chance if Kerry won by 21 points today, but they'll, have, they'll, be, they'll be happy with their year, um, and I think, you know, they'll be happy to win the game you know the off lead it's nothing but disappointment Seamus you mentioned the Joe McDonough final there we now have confirmation of the teams that are going to be in it you can catch that one live here as you can see on YouTube Sport TG Car or live here on GA now on the 30th of June we now know it will be Westmead it will be Leash we saw Leash here last week they were very impressive got the five goals how would you see that game going? Yeah, no, I think we have the, we have the two form teams in the final. I think you're going to have... It, it, it's a strange quirk of the system where, you know, the final game of the, the group series has, you know, spat out the, the two uh, the, the two opponents for the for the final. But, you know, Leash have, Leash have a great record behind them. The draw today will probably be a good thing for Westmead to give him a bit of confidence. Um, but, you know, all bets are off, I think, for the following day again. Absolutely, it'd be great to see the two of them teams play in Crow Park on that day, the 30th of June. If you can't be there, you can catch all the action, as we said, on Sport TG Car on YouTube or here on the GNL platform. The Joe, so that's more or less the Joe McDonough from the group stage point of view, done and dusted. Seamus, have you an overall kind of thought on how it went? Yeah, so look, the Joe McDonough Cup is a super competition because you've been watching.